Hello, my name is Lokesh Basin. Today I'm going to show you how to use a pipeline operator and create dashboards in Logger. I'm using Logger 6.7 for this particular exercise. Now, a pipeline operator allows you to customize the display of a particular search result. You can change a particular field within uh, the search that you got back. You can create charts, dashboards using the pipeline operator. Uh, now, to see it in working, let's say I create a simple query first. Device product is equal to Microsoft Windows. I'll run it for the last two hours and hit go. Uh, this is a very simple query that re returns 33,000 different results. Now, if I want to, uh, let's say, look at the top five uh, device event class IDs, I can do that using my top pipeline operator. Go. Now, once I do that, I'm looking at the exact same search, but instead of looking at all the events, now Logger uh, displays the top five uh, device event class IDs in form of a pie chart and with a table. Now, let's look at a couple of different examples for the pipeline operator. <clears throat> the, when, once I type in the pipe, I see all the operators that I have in Logger. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, I strongly recommend uh, using the example or the help option or um, look at the logger admin guide uh, to look at all the search operators. Um, this goes into a lot of details uh, for each operator and how to create different queries using these. So I highly recommend this. Uh, let's say I want to create a dashboard similar to the one that we see on the screen, uh, but I don't want to see Security 624, Security 552, or Security 628 there. I want to share this dashboard with my C-level executive, and I want to present the information in a more human, understandable format. Uh, so what I can do is I can use the replace operator uh, to replace a particular name of a security incident uh, to display a different name. So I can say replace security 628 with, I'll give it the new name, I'll say password change, uh, in and define which particular field I'm going to make this change in. I go. Now, I'm looking at, again, again the same exact search query. Uh, but instead of looking at security 628, now I see password change as you can see listed right here. Uh, just like the index search flow in Logger, uh, the pipeline operator flow also goes from left to right. If I want, I can add another pipe here and replace whatever field I want to replace next. So let me say I want to replace security 624 uh, with 624 is account created. So I'll say account created. And device event class ID, I have this uh, already typed out. Uh, the next thing I can do is I can replace a particular field using the op field operators as well. So uh, let's say I, want, I don't want to show device event class ID uh, to my C-level executives. I want to change that into a more human understandable format. So what I do is I'll type another pipe. And instead of replacing, now we are renaming a field. So I'll say rename device event class ID as event type, hit go. So what it does now is instead of showing me the device event class ID, it'll show me event type. Now another thing to notice here is because the flow goes from left to right, we don't have to change the name in, in the query that we listed before we change the name to event type. So it says device event class ID before we change that name, right? Uh, so as you can see, uh, that name is changed over here. If I click on this, I see account create is password change. So I have the names that I want in my search. Now what I can do is I can use my top pipeline operator, uh, and I have to say top five event type instead of saying uh, top five device event class ID because it's going from left to right. Uh, the event type change happened before we are changing, uh, we are converting this into a chart. So once I hit go, 
now I'm looking at the same information, but it is presented in a more human readable format. Uh, I can understand uh, that this is a dashboard for event type, uh, there are account created, password changed, and you can do the same for all the different field sets that you have within this particular search query. Uh, now, once I have this search built out and I'm happy with my results, uh, what I can do is I can go to the top left uh, of my dash, uh, of, my da of my logger uh, page, hit on save the query, and save this as a dashboard panel. Now I have to give it a new name, so I'll say Windows, save it as Windows Event Type. I also want to create a report to send out to my um, executives. I want to give it a new name for save Event Type, new dashboard, Windows Event Type. Okay, I'll, now it'll ask me what type of panel do I want. I want chart and I want table. So I'll say add both types, give me a column uh, with a top limit of 10. Uh, doesn't matter because I'm going for top five, hit save. Uh, once I do that, because this already exists, I'm gonna hit okay. Once I go, once this uh, is saved, this will uh, be displayed in my dashboards. Uh, so instead of creating this query again, all I can do is I can simply go to my dashboard panel and see this dashboard being created uh, for me. So I created one with said Windows event type. As you can see, the dashboard is listed out in my dashboard uh, column. I can throw it on a different screen. Uh, my report has already been uh, created in my reports that I can share with my C-level exec. Let me hit refresh and show you the dashboard. As you can see, I, if I want, again, I have the option to edit this panel. Uh, say I don't wanna see column, I wanna see uh, donut, save, and there you go. That is how to use the pipeline operator and create dashboards in Logger. I hope this was helpful.